Well, hello there, my listeners. It is your lovely host here. It is Team Rara here. Listeners, did you guys and girls get the opportunity to listen to the podcast from earlier today? If not, don't worry. Hit that notification. The little bell on your tablet, laptop, your you know, main computer, if you have a main computer, or your cell phone. Everyone has a cell phone. I think they do. I don't know if you have YouTube on your phone. I don't know. But you can always activate it that way. Whatever you prefer. Or subscribe. Leave a comment. All that good stuff. That really means a lot to me. That really means a lot to you. Then you never miss any kind of upload on this YouTube channel. Capiche? Now it is lovely time to do my introduction. Then we will get this show on the road. I will discuss for you wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of interesting topics to discuss for you. So sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab something, grab something to drink. Now if you don't want to do nothing like that, maybe you just want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts on a certain matter. And don't worry, the article will be down below for sure. Here goes nothing. Now, I don't know if you watched this past Extreme Rule pay-per-view or not. Probably a lot of you didn't because it's not a very good card. But the thing I want to discuss, the highlight of the night, when Braun Strowman threw KO over the cage, and of course KO won <clears throat> because his, his <coughs> excuse me, his two feet hit the ground first, so he won automatically. But he had paid a price. Now he's injured. So that really sucks for him. That's why he was not on television last night. I know it's our poor storyline, but they still get hurt. So I give you the article down below. Okay. I'm going to do my best that I can. As seen at Sunday, July 15th, 2018, the WWE Extreme World Pay-Per-View live from Pennsylvania... Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, at the, the sorry, I messed up, P, PBG Paints Arena on the W Network. Kevin Owens was able to beat Braun Strowman. Yeah, of course, because Braun Strowman threw him over the, the cage. If that never happened, that means LKO would lose that match, bar none. Okay. In a steel cage match, after Strowman tossed him over the top of the cage through the table. That was a great moment. Okay. The W issue a storyline injury update on Owens by status. You know, blah, 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 blah. He'll be back on television very, very soon. I hopefully, my wrestling fanatics, this match is a one-time deal. Hopefully they don't continue it. That'd be stupid. Because Braun Strowman is a beast. He's all the other stuff. And I think, in my opinion, W just not really pushing KO to the max. You know, he should be in a title pitcher. Any kind of title pitcher. Not in this kind of garbage. You know, not like Cat and Mouse. Come on, W. The writers and creators are very stupid with how W is booking KO. I'm surprised that KO say, you know what? Forget this crap. I'm going back to ROH. And other wrestling companies that really appreciates me, you know. He thinks in his eye he's the best wrestler. Is he? Do you think? Leave a comment down below. Now I heard from the grapevine that WWE wants him to lose weight. I don't know if that's really true or not true, you know. I think if he lose some pounds that he'll be better in the, you know, in the ring, you know. He'll be fast pace, you know. Maybe he don't want that. I don't know if he wants to lose weight or if he tried. I don't know. I don't know if they're really on him or maybe it's just a rumor, you know. I think it's just perfectly fine. Just slim it down a little bit. I remember a couple of years ago, W and management was complaining about the big show. And before you know it, he lose weight. And by the time he lose weight, it was not necessary because they didn't use him in the full storyline, you know what I'm saying, like a full-time wrestler. He just there once in a blue moon, you know what I'm saying? 
So I don't know. Some guys could lose the weight. Other guys cannot lose the weight. You know. Now, in my opinion, in my opinion only, he should never, ever, left SmackDown Live. You know, he was perfectly fine in that predicament. Now I don't know why they, they switch him back to Raw. That was very stupid. You know, very dumb. Or, you know, they say, you know, forget this crap. I decided to just go back to NXT and, you know, at least I could dominate that brand, you know. But it's all about the money. He don't give a darn, probably in his eyes, he, if he gets demolished, go through a table, go through a poor party. He, whatever embarrassing moment he, he does, he don't care. He gets paid. You know, that sucks how WWE is treating Kevin Owens. Or, um... Kevin Steen, you know, his real, real name, his other name, you know. So, what's your thoughts on this article, and hopefully this feud is over between KO and Braun Strowman. You guys think it should continue until SummerSlam, into the fall, or do you think it's going to be a one-time deal? What happened this past Sunday? Hopefully it's going to be over-ended. You know, it was a very sloppy build-up towards Extreme Rules like Cat and the Mouse. And only way they will settle it in a cage match. Hopefully they will end it. Because I did not really like the match. The only highlight when Braun Strowman tossed KO over the, the cage onto the announce table. And now he's paying the price. KO. So that's all I got to say. Leave a comment with the article. Hit the, hit the notification. Hit the um, subscribe. Hit that um, leave, leave a comment. Hit the like, and that wraps it up. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday, and that wraps it up. See you guys and gals next edition. Deuces.